Recently, nonprofit watchdog OpenTheBooks.com was forced to open the Baltimore City checkbook after an eight month battle while we've been airing what they've found. But until now, the city is telling them they will not produce its payroll records for city employees. OpenTheBooks.com has been waiting for the last five months. Joining us now this morning to weigh in, CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky. Good morning to you. Morning. Well, so, so first, this was the city vendor spending. Now it's a lack of transparency on city payrolls. What is going on here? Well, city officials, you know, they're waging a war on transparency. They're testing our will, our wallet. You know, we're going to have to threaten another lawsuit. Look, for the past five months now, we've been asking the city in mul multiple requests to provide simply a copy of the 2023 fiscal year payrolls. This ended back on June 30th, and it goes through the law department. It goes through the city financial department, and they point us to their website, where the payrolls of fiscal year 2022 are located. We already have 2022. We've had that for a year. We want 2023 payrolls, and the city's not producing it. Now, no, recently the mayor ordered city workers back to the office. It also came with a taxpayer cost running into the millions. Can you break that one down for us as well? Yeah, uh, $5 million they say they need and they appropriated this money at taxpayer cost to upgrade conference rooms to bring back 2,000 employees. But here's what we found from the city checkbook. We found that $27 million was already spent on office maintenance while these employees worked from home. And so this is why you need to be able to follow the money, whether it's the city checkbook, which we battled for eight months to open, or now the payrolls, which we're now engaged in a five-month battle. The city needs to be transparent with every dime. They need to show residents and taxpayers how they are spending our money. It's our money. It's not their money. I mean, Adam Andrzejewski, you do a lot of oversight when it comes to city payrolls. Back in 2023, what were some of the findings that you came across? So look, uh, it's no secret the head counts of rank and file police officers are down sharply, especially compared against the last decade. We did that analysis. But here's what we also found. The bosses, the number of bosses at the police department are up sharply, those in ranked positions. We found at the Department of Public Works, the same thing uh, happened. There are more bosses over at the Department of Public Works, but trash isn't being picked up on a timely basis. You've got uh, the payroll records over at the Department of Public Works that are actually a mess. The Auditor General, Bill Henry, found that 47% oftentimes of payroll records were missing key information. So now you have the city not producing its payroll records. And so, you know, what do they have to hide? Well, we certainly will keep our eyes on this as you continue to press for those payroll records. Thank you, Adam Andrzejewski with OpenTheBooks.com. Thank you.